Welcome back to Nexology. Today, as promised, we're going to talk about how to actually look at the Home Manager source and understand how to use that to configure Home Manager modules. So the first thing we want to do is pop up in the Home Manager source, which is at github.com slash ryc slash home manager. And um, there's a lot of different stuff going on here. But basically, there's a whole bunch of supporting code, but all of the real meat you want to interact with lives in this modules directory. So within here, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff. Typically, this structure is actually shared with um, any NixOS modules-based module system for the most part. That means NixOS, that means Nix Darwin, that means Home Manager, and that means our own um, project called Runix for, for configuring projects. So um, here you'll see a modules.nix file, and it contains a little bit of preamble, and then basically a list of all of the modules, which is essentially all of the files within this modules directory. So you don't have to worry about this too much, just understand that's the kind of bootstrapping point into getting into the module system. Now, um, if we want to configure something, let's go home manager edit to pop open our config. And we'll see, we've got this one here, programs.bat.enable. Now, maybe we want to configure that some more. So let's find the module for bat. So typically, the module path, this programs.bat, corresponds to the structure within this modules directory. So in this case, we have a directory programs we'll click into. And then we expect to see something called bat, which we do. So uh, here. This is a module, and this is really following the same template as any, any NixOS modules based module. So what they always are is a function. Now this semicolon or this colon means it's a function. If you're not familiar with the Nix language, really don't worry about it. Uh, if you'd like to be, go take a look at nixcloud.io slash tour. It's a great uh, introduction. But yeah, this is a function of a few different arguments, config, lib, config, lib packages, and whatever else the module system decides to provide for the most part. A little bit of preamble. And then ultimately what a module does is returns a, an attribute set or a hash basically. An attribute set in Nix terms is just a hash with strings as keys. So what you're returning from there is uh, minimally two things options and config. Now when you see something in Nix written like option like a dot b dot c, um, that's just syntactic sugar for a nested hash. So here we see options.programs.bat and then enable. That could equivalently have been options.programs.bat.enable equals uh, this thing. So when you evaluate a module system, you basically take the options and the config from all of the different modules that are included and kind of mush them all together at runtime. So what options does is it declares options that are available to configure within the module system evaluation. And then config basically does stuff using those options. So where here we define options.programs.bat.config and up here, we set a local variable to be config.programs.bat. That's CFG. So down here, we check CFG.config, which is options.programs.bat.config. If that's not empty, we do stuff with it. So this is how options and config kind of works. In general, when you're reading these things to try to understand them, to figure out how to configure uh, modules in your, your home manager config, you don't really have to read the config part. That's just how it works. The, the what it does, the what's available to you, is basically described by options. So in this case, all you have is enable, which is the result of whatever make enable option returns, and then config, which is the result of whatever make option returns. So each option has a type. You can see here in make option is declared explicitly, and that's attributes of string. So what that means is it's a hash with um, string keys because attribute sets in Nix always have string keys and string values. And you can see there's a default, which is no config. 
and an example, which is if you wanted to, you could assign theme to be too dark and a pager. Make enable option is just a shortcut for making a, a, an option with type Boolean that's named enable, that's it. So if we wanted to declare a different theme, let's say we wanted to change the, the theme of bat, we can search for bat themes and we'll see within the bat repo, there's this list of available themes. Uh, okay, let's say it looks like we're using too dark already, probably because that's listed here. Maybe it's the default. Let's try using base 16 and see if it looks different. So if I run bat of this, <laughs> okay, so I actually already changed mine to base 16 because it doesn't matter. Um, let's use ANSI dark instead. So this is what the base 16 theme looks like. Some red, some gray. Um, I'm going to change this to ANSI dark. So we have programs.bat.enable. Now we could write this in a couple ways. We could go like this and then add config. Or we could go like this, which is what we'll do for now. It would be nor more normal probably to write it the other way, but um, we'll do this. And we're going to say theme equals ANSI dark. And now if we run home manager switch, it'll rebuild. And when I run bat, it shouldn't be the red and the gray anymore. It'll be yellow and gray. So that's different, the theme applied. So let's figure out what actually happened there. Um, when we ran, uh, when we evaluated this module, it makeif is a little macro that detects whether that enable option was set. And if so, it applies this config. It generates, rather than an empty config, it generates this config that gets merged into the global config which injects packages.bat and then sets this file contents. So if we look at xdg.configfile.bat slash config, what that really means is it's, um, there's a variable that's set called xdg config home. And this is just a kind of common thing on Unix, oops, not set, echo. Um, common thing set on Unix systems, dev sets it to this value, which is kind of the normal value for it. And what this means then is we're creating a file at bat slash config within that path. So if we do cat uh, home slash dot config slash bat slash config, we see it says theme ansi dark. And that's basically it. So um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there for now. There's a the module system gets a little more complex than this. Um, maybe next time, maybe soon, we'll look at a, a more complex module. Uh, SSH probably is what we'll look at. It gets into nested, um, nested option groups. There's a little more to understand there. But for yeah, for now, yeah, this is uh, this is how to look at simple, um, simple modules in a NixOS modules-based module system and get some use out of that. So go forth and configure your home manager, I suppose. Uh, next time.